Finally tonight, our first athlete of the week for this fall prep sports season. Tonight's athlete leads a football team that has section championship aspirations. But standing in their way this past weekend was a team that has won the last two in the last two seasons. On Saturday, this quarterback led an unforgettable comeback to establish this team as a true contender. Our Nathan Hawkins has more. I did not want to lose that game knowing that we would have a good chance at winning our section this year. This was a big game for your seedings, so this is a game we needed to have to win. A game Brady Kittleson felt Blooming Prairie needed to win, but at halftime, the Awesome Blossoms stared down a 26-12 deficit to the two-time reigning section champions in Fillmore Central. But those fantastic flowers powered back, and Brady Kittleson was the engine, passing for 133 yards and two touchdowns in the game, while rushing for 138 yards and three more scores. And that's a competitor, man. He's never, never going to quit, and he's going to keep going one play right after the next, uh, right till the, the last whistle. And that final whistle came in overtime after Blooming Prairie punched it in with three seconds left to send it to an extra period. In OT, Blooming Prairie scored, then they made a stop, handing Fillmore Central their first regular season loss since 2021. Pure joy, I ripped my helmet off, ran over to the sideline, jumped up, and celebrated with all the guys. Everyone's a joyous moment and an unforgettable one. It's, it's one of those all-time great, great wins. A huge win for Blooming Prairie behind a huge performance from Kittleson. That's what the Awesome Blossoms have come to expect from him. Coach Gimbel said he's always a threat to go the distance and he instills confidence in his teammates. But before the senior leader heads to Sioux Falls next year to continue his football career, he hopes to lead the Awesome Blossoms to soaring highs, a section title and a state run. It would be huge for our town and for us because ever since fifth or sixth grade, we've just been talking like the next big thing since the 2019 team that ended up winning state for us. So it'd really be nice to live up to that potential that we know we have. Brady Kittleson, KTDC's Athlete of the Week.